Hello and welcome to this list of videos dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 board in an easy way. In this video, I will make a presentation about the board, Genyot, which is the tool that we will be using to program the board, and how to organize our learning with the videos and the documentation. This is me. I am a computer science teacher in middle school in Tunisia and an international trainer in the field of ICT. I have now an interest in the Internet of Things world combined with artificial intelligence. I am also a developer and my goal is to make life easy for everyone. So now, what are the reasons to choose an ESP32? The first reason is the number of GPIO. We have here 36 pins and it is definitely more than the popular Arduino Uno or the ESP8266. The second reason is probably the CPU frequency and the number of cores that makes the board more powerful. And last but not least, the internal Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth module. The board is still in active development and we are expecting more capabilities in the near future. The price is also a big advantage comparing to uh, the other boards. Few years ago, I was advising makers to work with ESP8266 and keep an eye on the ESP32. Now the board is stable and I recommend to use, to use it in your, for, uh, in your professional uh, projects. The most popular way to program the board is with the Arduino IDE using the C++ programming language. Here, I choose for you the easiest way, which is a tool that I developed uh, myself called Tunyot for ESP32. The tool uses uh, blocks programming and it's easy, uh, very simple for everyone. You also have uh, the code and you can change and improve anytime. The tool is available now in more uh, than 5 languages and others will be uh, added soon. We also offer a great documentation with more than 40 videos on YouTube. These are some examples of a project that you can make. In this list of tutorials, you will find more than 40 videos divided into three categories. The A category is for the standalone. You will learn how to connect basic components like LED sensors and motors. You will use the ESP32 like an Arduino board. The B category is for projects on a local network. The C category is for projects using a connectivity to the internet. If you like the tool and the documentation, you are also welcome to make a donation. In the end, I wish you all the best in your path for learning IoT and the programming of the ESP32 board. Bye.